If you bear patience and you are steadfast, Allah will never ever throw away your reward. You will see it. A day will come when victory comes in your direction. You know what the brothers said immediately? Oh, we swear by Allah that Allah has elevated you above us on this day. threw me in a pit, didn't you? You wanted to kill me, didn't you? Yeah, I did some nasty things. You really didn't want me to come up in life. I came up against all odds. He didn't say it that way, but that's what happened. He was not arrogant. Do you know what he said? They said, hey, indeed, Allah's favored you. Allah raised you above us. We were trying to rise above you. Allah raised you above us. And guess what happened? Thereafter, and this is the end of it, he, he quickly calmed the situation. He says, may Allah forgive you. He is most forgiving, most merciful. May Allah forgive you. He's most forgiving. He says, La tathriba alaykum al Allahu lakum. He didn't wait to rub salt in the wound like we would love to do. Mm, mashallah. Look at that. You better pay for this, my sister. He didn't do that. No rubbing of salt. Decent fellow. Top man. Handsome guy. Blessed by Allah. Amazing human being. He suffered so much more than any one of us. He went through struggle upon struggle. According to one narration, 40 years later, there was a conclusion. 40 years, some of us, four months and we say, Allah is not listening to me. Four months, four days. I remember a guy, we told him, if you do this and this and you, you read Salat al-Fajr and you ask Allah and you cry in tahajjud, Allah will give you anything. The guy comes back after four days. He says, I've been crying into Hajjud. Nothing's happened. I said, man, man, the prophets of Allah, 40 years they cried. Yeah, four days. Come on. You haven't even started, bro. But Allah can give. Allah knows we're weak. Sometimes he gives us just like that. So that's it. He didn't rub salt on the wound. What did he do? He just says, La ali. I'm going to Today, no retribution, I'm no recompense, I'm not going to take retaliation, revenge, nothing at all, nothing. Allah will forgive you. He is the most forgiving, most merciful. Go back home, take my shirt, give it to, the, give it to our father and bring all of them and come back here and we give you guys a good time. Would you do that to your own brother who tried to kill you? No way. A lot of us would say, no, I can't, I can't, no. It's not him, it's his wife who's the problem actually. People say that. It's not him, it's the wife. Yeah. Wife, subhanAllah, blaming the wives for no reason, bro. But that's an easy, it's a scapegoat, it's a soft target, as they say.